What happened to the U.S. Virgin Islands after Maria is a shame on this country. It's a total embarrassment. Um, I'm a journalist. I was written for Time, Newsweek, won awards at all of them. Um, then I started my own company. And I'll personally say I'm embarrassed of the American media establishment. It's a total disgrace. South Florida's number one community affairs show each and every Sunday night from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. We highlight the achievements and we discuss the challenges of our community with you and an engaging panel of guests. My first guest tonight is my first guest ever on Hot Talk. <laughs> Mayor Gilbert in the building. How are you, sir? I'm good. Reunited and it feels so good. And it's understood. <laughs> There's one perfect thing, and it is jazz in the garden. Yeah, it's about Miami Gardens, jazz in the gardens, Super Bowl, Miami tennis. It's it's about it's, it's about making stuff happen. Man. I'm just happy to be on the show tonight. Oh, well, thank you for sorry. having us. Well, thank you for coming. And Peter Bailey, where did y'all dig him up from? <laughs> yes, man. <ma 'am. laughs> <laughs> Hi, friend. How you doing? I'm, I'm happy good, baby. How are you? I'm no, good. really, where have you been? You weren't here. You were overseas, no, right? No, no, I was overseas. Um, I produced a couple of films, mm -hmm. Hurricanes in the Caribbean. So, oh, um, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Well, it wasn't beautiful. I well, I mean, died yeah. twice. <laughs> and um, you know, were just, you chasing them or? No, I was in the storm. You know, I do a show with kids back mm -hmm. home with the kids, and um, I was there, and then the hurricanes came, mm -hmm. and um, changed our lives forever. And I do what I do best. I raised hell. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm um, just advocating for my community who's been ignored. And um, it's been a blessing. Yeah. So I'm just happy to be back with you guys. Now. Yeah. You know, People thought that Puerto Rico was ignored. No, yes. no. Yes. But, but the, the sole majority black territory. Yeah. Um, All of that. Was we're the ignored. only place in modern history to have survived two Category 5 storms in less than two weeks. Wow. So I wrote a New York Times op-ed. Has America forgot the Virgin Islands? Mm. And then, you know, some of my peers in media, I guess I'm a little bit too controversial for them. I said, okay, well, you know, if that didn't strike the chord, um, we're going to produce some films. So I've been touring the country, um, screening the films. So I've been at USC in Los Angeles. I've been at University of Delaware, um, University of South Florida. We have Notre Dame coming up, Brown University, a couple other universities. And um, the next stop is here at FMAC. At Jasmine Jasmine Gardens. Gardens. Okay. What this man has, has achieved in the city as a black politician, let, let, let's just call it what it is. You know, South Florida is <laughs> easy for said black it. folks. Let's call it. Let's no, it's not. Spade spade. Let's call it spade a spade. You know? <laughs> he was about to no. say he caught himself. <laughs> when one of us, we all family up in here. When one yeah. of us tries to um, gain progress in this town, we tend to um, not throw out support. And several years ago. Me and the mayor has turned discussions about what he envisioned for the city. Uh -huh. And I will say everything he said that he was going to do, he did. Jasmine Gardens is more of a, it's more like a family reunion. You do it regardless of who's on stage. It, it has become that. It's not just a concert. It's an event. No, it's no. What you, what's happened, it's what happens in the audience and not just on the stage. Yeah. But now it's not even that. And one of the things that I think that I love about the festival, I love the concerts and the acts that people are coming and all that stuff. That's great. I love the audiences. But I love the fact that we can give, we can, we can give a, a platform to, to Peter. I, I love yeah. the fact that we can actually incentivize the poets with the, with the poetry contest. I love mm -hmm. the fact that FMAC, the Women's Impact, we're actually finding a way to express every part of ourselves. Yeah. It's <laughs> interesting that you talk about a platform because I'm remembering like several of my most mem memorable Nightcap episodes I filmed at Jazz. At Jazz, nigga. Fantasia, Ella Cool J, um, Anthony Hamilton. Um, you know, every city, every culture comes into its own mm -hmm. when the art scene matures, right? Yeah, A city becomes a city and a metropolis and an oasis when its art scene is... is, is, is it, that's what makes New York, New York. That's what makes... Right, you know, and so those who are Orleans. creating the art there are engaged in it there and go. benefited from it. I like to bring my art to the community. Everybody knows that about me. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I'm self-made. I built what I built. And I, I like to make a statement with everything I create. Mm -hmm. You know, I think a lot of times as black artists, we, we're seeking validation from everyone instead of our own people. So I love to bring my, my art to the people who inspired it directly. We're going to be um, showing scenes from the film, Paradise mm -hmm. Discovered, The Unbreakable Virgin Islanders, and then we'll have a discussion about it. 
Yeah. Oh, okay, so awesome. Portion. So now you're doing the film. Yes, ma'am. Betty Wright is doing the music. music. Adonis I, Parker is doing art. Art, yep. And then uh, culture, culture is cre creative control, and yeah. it, and th okay. that's the interesting concept because mm -hmm. what they're going to teach people how to do is actually protect their work. Yeah. So th you're going to be able to actually set up individual appointments with lawyers who will tell you how you can you can protect your whether it's your song, your imagery, your art, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Because what we find is we find that there are a lot of a lot of people in our community, especially young people, who have a lot of talent. They do a lot yeah. of things, and they end up not owning the rights to their own work. Peter Bailey, you know, you, you always take us to a to another thought. <laughs> he did. <laughs> you um, always take us to another place. He did that. <laughs> <laughs> Just, um, you know, I'm, it's, it's great. Um, I think that this journey for me, this film tour, is historic. And um, why not bring it to Miami Gardens? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. a place that's very iconic to me and just been a big part of my career. And I just want, you know, everybody just please support the Virgin Islands, Anguilla, mm -hmm. um, the Unbreakable Virgin Islanders, um, the Anguilla Connections, the films, and it's Paradise Discovered. And please understand that when you vacation in the Caribbean, there's people there. It's just not a beach. It's just not a vacation. There's actual people there. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to be discussing that at FMAC and just, we're going to, like you said, you know, I take thoughts to a different place. So uh, expect a yes, great conversation. Indeed. such an extraordinarily talented community. But, but often, we don't have the business acumen to actually capitalize on our abilities. That's, that's kind of what this is about. This is about hearing from Peter Bailey, who is a brilliant journalist, a filmmaker. Hearing about his struggles and his ability to tell a story that often people wouldn't tell. This is, this is FBAC, it's part of our effort to actually speak to you, not just your entertainment interests, but your intellectual interests. I appreciate you all being here. Consider yourself welcome. Thank you. Some of you may follow Peter uh, on Instagram or Facebook. If you don't, social media, you should. Um, I, I watched during that time, and I'm sure that internet was shoddy, and you could get on when you could, and, and you did ask for help, just general help, wherever that fell. Um, and, and, and I was asking for my people, my community. Yeah, for the, for the community. Um, and even uh, showing some of those shots so people could so, so what was the response from, from the general media? I called friends of mine, executive of MSNBC. I'm not gonna give, I'm not gonna say these people's my name because I don't, that's not what my brand isn't about that. But he called me and said, Peter, there's nothing we can do, we're focused on Puerto Rico. Called a buddy at CNN, we're focused on Puerto Rico. These are black people, right? So we're in the whole stay woke ever. Where was all these stay woke pro-black people when America's sole black majority was on its name. We didn't have electricity for 93 days. It's the longest blackout in American history. My father passed. The film is dedicated to him. So imagine being in a space where your hospital has been destroyed, where it's total darkness, and you see this idiot president on Twitter arguing NFL players, right? This man is on his timeline arguing NFL players while American citizens are down there near death, just, just trying to find a way. So you ask me how do I feel about it? I feel that we're in a space in this country where everything we're doing is for popularity and likes. I don't know, why does anybody believe it? In the film, you mentioned your mom. Yes, ma'am. And your dad. That was my mother in the trip. That was your mother. Yeah. Um, and then there were some other leaders. Uh, the governor, the governor. Four governors. Okay, okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a cross section of Virgin Islands that's in the film. I had a moment in history in my life where I gave something to my community that's going to live on forever and ever and ever. And when you see this film, a hundred years from now, you're going to see who we really are, not the postcards. Until today, I never really considered the impact of the hurricanes 
with the Virgin Islands, and today was definitely a civics lesson, even about territories. So, a lot of times I could not think of, I could not think of a hurricane one, two, or three from the Virgin Islands perspective, because you know Miami, we kind of hear it all. So thank you for bringing what you bring and helping us. To. If people want to follow you, yes. how do they do that? Um, you can go to the website, um, www.nightcapmedia.com. This was awesome. Thank you. We thank learned you. a lot. Let's follow it here and see how we can help. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And bravo to the city of Miami, God. That's right. Bravo to the mayor. The mayor. Bravo to the mayor.